Jill! Oh, no. Well, apparently we're alive. Apparently. Um, yes, folks. Hello. Welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil 3. Um, we are apparently alive. The train, um, seems a bit of a mess, it must be said. Uh, where the hell are we? Well, we made it to the clock tower. Not in the fashion we meant to, but birds! Yeah, watch out for those, they're a pain in the backside. But lots and lots of health here, which is always quite nice. So what we're going to do, grab that, so we can combine that up. We're going to take a blue, because, well, we might as well come... We might, with this blue here, you know, I, I'd... We might as well make some use of them, really. We'll just combine with uh, some of these herbs here. Um, you know. And just see what we get. Right, so that's all the herbs here. Bloody birds. Ugh. Shut up! Right, we'll get in here, then. Okay, we won't get in here. Apparently it's locked. Um, well, there is actually another door down here, folks. So we'll um, head in here, then. Hell are we, folks? I mean, look. Well, this is where we are, apparently, the clock tower. Um, apparently, there's more floors to this as well. Hmm. Can we get through here? Nope. The clock is etched underneath the keyhole. Hmm. Well, the only way you can see the head is uh, this way, folks. Where the hell's Carlos as well? I mean, he was in that train with us. I hope he made it out alive. Nah, he's too stubborn to die, I don't... I think. Right, we can put that away. We can um, put the full heal away and that away for now. Um, The grenade launcher is not really a lot of point in us keeping that on us. Um, We can put a couple of first aid sprays in here. Is That is quite cool, folks. Oh, and of course we've got um another red here, so we can actually combine this up as well. And that gives us... Uh, what a pretty... Well, we've not got a, not a pretty decent amount of health, even though it doesn't look like it much. Uh, but that's not too bad, actually. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Right, let's have a look around here. We've got a, a, something, a flashy thing. There is an altar. Impressive. Ah, oh, come on, Jill. Play, play some Moonlight Sonata. <laughs> um, so take the clock tower to key. Yeah, why not? Suppose if we have to. Ornamented with a clock part. A screw shaped ornament to put a round shaped object. Hmm. Well, that's actually the winder key, folks. Um, why it's called that, I don't know. What the hell was that? That didn't sound very good, folks. God, this place is a mess. Wasn't so bad until we drove into it. Christ. Oh! What? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Hell with that! A dining room. Carlos? I don't believe it. You're alive. I'm not sure how we're gonna get out of this town. Oh, cheer up, what Carlos. What are you talking about? We made it! You don't get it. They, they have no intention of letting us make it back alive. What? Do you really think we can trust their great evacuation plan? Huh. It's just a piece of paper. But we don't have any other choice than to trust them right now. No. If we're gonna die, then we should get to choose when it happens. Uh. Ouch! Have some of that! So that's it then, huh? You're giving up? No. I just... I can't handle it. Can't handle it? What is up with Carlos, folks? I mean... He seemed pretty happy and cheerful, but... 
I don't know, yeah, m maybe you can't handle it, folks. I, I don't know, really. Hmm. Well, anyways, folks, um, while um, Carlos um, has a, another tantrum and decides to run off into a room with about six zombies in it, uh, we're going to continue exploring the um, exploring this place. Whoa. I must have died fighting? Hmm, so obviously there's some umbrella guys here. But you'll notice this in front of him. The mine thrower. Now, oh, he's holding something else. Down. We'll read this first then. Operation instructions. Wipe out downtown area of the infant station. Evacuate main citizens to the clock tower. Give priority to employees of Umbrella's affiliates. High endurance. Strike back hesitating. Yeah. Once it's complete or becomes too impossible to complete, evacuate. Deploy a helicopter that is waiting in the suburbs to the yard in front of the clock tower. Ring the bell um, of the clock tower to signal the helicopter for extraction. Hmm. Well, we know what we need to do to get the hell out of here then, folks. And yeah, put up this this very interesting weapon here, the mine thrower. A prototype weapon made by Umbrella's armaments department. Special bullets equipped with a sensor. Now, this has got to be one of the more bizarre weapons I think I've ever seen in a Resident Evil game, folks. I mean, I mean, ever. It is literally what it says it is, folks. A mine thrower. You can shoot it and you can sort of lay a mines down. Um, or you can sort of, uh, you know, or you can shoot it at things and they go off eventually. It's a strange weapon, folks, and personally, I don't think it's very good. So I may not even use it. Uh, here's our clock tower map. Um, yeah, you'll notice there, folks, at the bottom right, if you decided to um, jump out of the window, then you would have um, ended up on the right side, folks. And uh, you have a sl actually a different scene with Carlos, folks. Um, but I figured I'd go this way, because... Uh, I don't. I don't know if there's a canonic way it goes, but does it really matter? Um, we got a little bit up here as well, and that must go to the um, to where the bell is. I'd assume. Uh, we got a first aid spray. We shall be borrowing this. Anything else here? We got a box here. What the? Oh, would someone have... What the hell is up with that? Melody is out of order. You're telling me? Bloody hell. Who has that kind of taste in music? I mean, Christ. Oh yeah, folks, um, something else I didn't actually mention. You would have seen one of these um, back in uh, downtown. Back in the uh, sort of little parking lot area, you get the um, cable. Power cable um, from earlier. Uh, these little... Uh, there's blue herb planters here. Um, well, we don't need to use them. Basically, for those of you who don't actually know what these are, you can't pick these up. It's basically like an infinite blue herb supply. And you can just come here and cure yourself of poison, but you can't take any with you. So, yeah, that's what that is if you haven't actually met, come across those before. Now, that sounds a lot better than me. Hmm, that sounds much better. It's an old music box, apparently. That sounds a lot better, so let's um, head in here. To, um, this sort of area. Spiders. Oh, wonderful. There is a, 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 a uh, yeah, this here. Postcard. Postcard of antique clocks. Give your soul to the goddess. Put your hands together and pray bef to pray before her. What? I don't know, folks. I don't know. If I knew, I'd tell you, but I don't. But there are grenade rounds there, so we'll borrow those. Go away. Something else as well, folks, that I um, didn't actually uh, well, talk about, but I thought I'd do it anyways. Um, that fight with uh, Nemesis in the train... Um, you don't actually need to fight it, folks, at all. 
Oh, because you notice we sort of shot it until it went down once, it sort of went down, went back up, and then, um, sort of, uh, you know, and then Mikhail told us to leave the train. We can actually do, if you want to save ammo, folks, you can just leave the train, and that scene will play out without fighting Nemesis. But I wanted to fight him because I thought it'd, I, I thought it'd be more dramatic. <laughs> But, you know, if, if someone has mentioned now, so, someone in the comments, oh, you didn't need to fight that, you know, you wasted some ammo. I, I know perfectly well I didn't need to fight it, but I, I, I decided myself I wanted to fight it there because, well, I did. So, don't worry, folks, I know what I'm doing. And I'm not, don't worry about wasting ammo or anything like that. We're, we're, we're fine now. I think, by this sort of point, I think things get, generally speaking, somewhat easier. Emphasis on the word generally. Because that's not necessarily the case all the time, but, uh, well. Ooh! Gunpowder! Yoink! Yoink! Ah, now this is interesting. I could make some more magnum bullets here. Because we've got a C. We've got... And now we've got two A's and two B's. I tell you what. That's tempting to make, uh... More magnum bullets. We're gonna, yeah, we're gonna make some more magnum bullets, folks. It's hard to say no to magnum bullets. Will you take another clock tower key? Okay. Let's have a look here. Key ornamented with a clock part. Um, can we? Com no, that's the bazel key. Can we combine that with that? Nah, we can't make that. Sadly, they don't fit. Uh, what's down here? Um, yeah, this is uh, this is where you end up if you uh, jump out the window. You end up here, folks. Just so you know. The hell was that? Ha ha, game! I laugh at your feeble attempt to concern me because we're never gonna come into this room ever again. Like that scares me. Terrible. Right, so what we're gonna do now? Grab our C, um, and we're gonna well combine everything, folks. Basically, combine that to combine that to combine that, and we have many, many magnum bullets. We arguably will not need any more magnum bullets in this game, folks. Very arguably, that is all the magnum bullets we're ever gonna need. So. You know, I, I can live with that. Um, yeah, I can work with that. Right, um, so where are we, and what are we doing? Right, so we want to head this way next. Um, and if it is what I think it is, and I believe that we do go this way. And we should use the... Oh! Oh, we don't head this way, folks. Never mind. Well, we can't head that way then, so the only place we can go is upstairs. Now, you want to be careful here, folks, because... Yep, everyone's favourite spiders are back. Bye. Sorry, I tell you, it was sitting there, they were asking for that. Right. Um, might as well reload that. Um, what are these searchlights? Fixture the lights for the hour plate, the clock. Oh, it does. Press switch, yeah, why not? That serves a purpose. Apparently. Um, ooh, red herbs. Well, we'll grab hold of those, um, but we don't have any greens at this moment in time. Technically, that's actually a lie. We do have this green. But we've got a spare red herb, at least, so you know, we've got that for the next greens. Um, and there's a, there's a, yeah, there's a plate here with a keyhole in it. And you use the Bazel key in here. Strange place for a key. Very strange place for a key, but we'll head up anyways. We won't question the logic. Right. So what have we got up here? We got a, a silver gear. Um, we've got 
some machine over there. Uh, we got um, some uh, mine thrower rounds. They are again. I don't think I'm ever going to use the mine thrower. I, it's it's just a bizarre weapon. I don't like it. Oh, we've even gadget. Oh, we've we've got the gear. That's, why put it so close to the end of, to the puzzle? Ah, I see. Doesn't fit. Doesn't fit, folks. Hmm, must be more to it than. Hmm, that's strange. Maybe we need another gear. Or I, I, I would guess. Now we'll put that down there. We will. We'll keep hold of that. We'll keep hold of these two, folks. Um, just in case we find another one. Actually, no. I'll, I'll just put that down for now. Uh, if I can ever get up. Um, silver gear we'll put away for now. Actually, we don't actually need it for this moment in time. We can leave that there. Um, but here, little puzzle here. Um, use a box with elaborate ornamentation. Switches marked A to F. We operate the switches. That sound familiar, folks? I don't know what's up with this place and that tune, but apparently I like it. Now you'll see here you've got a um, a variety of pegs, and you've sort of got like a, a two holes for them, sort of up or down, um, is what you've got. Now, um, so if, yeah, so if we say we've got this um, this A one here is in the top, so if we put it down, and it up, you see it makes different sounds. Now um, you'll also, you'll notice that if we press it down. It's in tune. Oh, obviously that's not. And the idea, folks, is basically we need to recreate that tune, but it's got to be in. No, it's, we've got to recreate that 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 tune we heard, but it's got to be in in tune. Um, it's a pretty easy puzzle. This one it takes a moment. So you that one you want down. This one you want down. I think. Oh no, you do want that up. I don't actually have the combination in front of me, but it's it's not hard to. It's not hard to do this. Um, this one goes down. Um, the next one goes uh, down or up, and then E goes up, and I would assume D goes down. Yeah, and when it's all in tune, you play it. Do 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 do. Do 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 do, and if you're right, then the machine goes berserk. Oh, actually, it doesn't go that berserk. <laughs> um, right, and that raises, and inside is the Cronus chain. A strange-looking item, this chain made to adore a god of time. There's a small screw hole near the ornament. Yeah, folks, combine that with your winder key. And you will get the Kronos key, which looks really cool. The door to a door of God of Time. S sweet. Can work with that. Right. So with that in hand, now we can um, now we can open the uh, the door down there, folks. So we better get cracking on then. Put that in there and. How are you here? How are hell are you here? Now, use the light, use the cord. Use the cord. And Jill will pull out this cord, and you'll notice wet floor. Ow! And he will go straight down and give us our second M37 parts. Very nice indeed, which means we basically need to use this shotgun up. Um, but uh, of course, just like back in the um, back in the restaurant, he's actually not dead as such. But we've already got the parts from here. Um, and to be honest, folks, you can get away with not fighting him. So, oh well, yeah, you can get away with not fighting him. So I'm not gonna fight him. And it's pretty easy to get away from him anyway. So. So we just go in here. Uh, 
Uh, put the uh, Chromis key in here, which we now discard. And uh, easy as you like. Uh, now, check this dead guy here. He's got some uh, grenade rounds on him. Try not to get hit by these spiders, folks. Um, in all honesty, these spiders have actually got a big damage boost um, from when we've last um, faced them in previous games. Because they're a lot more powerful now, actually, with their hits. So, just watch out for that, though. But I do generally want to avoid them. Uh, mercenary's pocketbook. Uh... Only been three hours, um, but the team's down to him and Campbell. Injected the antibody for the virus. There's an antibody for the virus? Wow. Robbed re uh, desperation, we robbed some wounded members of their weapons and used the surviving citizens as decoys. Christ. Man. That's pretty grim, folks. Evacu wanted to evacuate, but the girl didn't. The father insisted that he wouldn't leave the city where his beloved wife rests in peace. Hmm. Clock Tower's become a dangerous place, and he doesn't want to make any more mistakes. Yeah, well. That sucks, folks. Well, anyways, if we have a look around here, um, there's all these statues here, which I'll just come to in a second. Um, and you've also got uh, there is some uh, mine for around. For the moment, just leave those there for um, just word. Um, we got a bell here, which we can shove to um, get through to the door, or not. <laughs> I've always loved that little kick she gives there. Spare bell for the clock tower. It would take incredible strength to move it, which um, sadly um, Jill is not built like an Adonis, so sadly she can't push the bell. Oh well. Um, so yeah, so we've got this here. Um, we've got these um, three clocks here: um, the past goddess, the present goddess, and you guessed it, future goddess. And they've all got some um, trays underneath. And over here. You've got, um, well, we've got a variety of items here. We've got uh, an amber ball. We got uh, an obsidian ball. And a crystal ball, um, which we require all of them. Now, now it's pretty half obvious, folks, that um, you need to relate the. Um, you need to be able to relate, sort of. No, obviously, you, you need to put the balls in with the uh, in these trays. But um, you might be wondering, well, okay, we can do that. But h how are we supposed to know um, what order to put them in, and what the hell are we even trying to do, folks? Well, there is a sort of half trick to knowing what you're actually attempting to do. It might be kind of obvious, anyways, just looking at the screen. But in case you don't exactly know. If you come back down here to the art picture postcard, you might be able to just tell there that all three of the clocks are pointing up to 12 o'clock, folks. But it might be pretty obvious, anyways. What you need to do is get you need to get this clock up to um up to uh no up to a number 12. Um, you know, 12 o'clock like the other two. Um, but how you might how you do that, you might ask. Well, it's obviously using these three balls. Now, let's say we decide. I don't know. Or we'll, we'll just put like um, I don't know. We'll just put the I don't know. So put the crystal ball in here. You know, why not? And you'll notice that goes forward by one. Now, um, so if say if we decide, I don't know, we'll put the uh, an amber ball in here, for example. You'll notice that shoots forward. Absolutely shoots forward, folks. So I don't know. We'll, we'll try um, putting the uh, obsidian ball in here. Only goes back two, folks. And you can see you put all the three um, three balls here, but hasn't made it to twelve, so it doesn't work. Now the idea is, but as I said, you need to get this to twelve. Um, you need to get this to twelve o'clock. Ha having used all three of your balls. Now, 
it's an, I like this puzzle in a way because it's sort of an old fashioned sort of puzzle in that there's not really any clues as to what order to put them in really. I, if there is any actual clues as such as to how as what order you put them in then I'd love to know but as far as I'm aware there isn't. Um, and as far as I'm aware this is just a good old fashioned um, trial and error puzzle folks. Um, and what I, what I have actually done off screen folks and when I played through this because I knew it's like this. Um, I actually made a, uh, a table of um, I made a table of like um, if you've got your free um, your free balls here and you put them in each three of these uh, portraits, the effect it actually has on this centre clock, folks. Um, so like say I know that if I put the uh, obsidian ball into uh, the past portrait here, it goes um, the time goes back by two hours. Um, if I put the um, am um, obviously the amber pool we put in here, put it forward six. And what I've done, folks, is I've um, did that. I've done that before. And what I'm going to do is put in the description a little list of um, what um, of of sort of what happens if you put varying balls and varying trays, folks. Because the actual number you require varies. Like when I last played through this, this was at eleven o'clock, not nine. And you'll find with these sort of puzzles, folks. Um, there's a few more later on. The actual solution changes, although the actual mechanics behind it is still the same. So I'm going to give you that little chart to use down there. So if you're ever playing through this and you say you don't get nine, you get say two o'clock, then you can use that chart to, um, in order to, uh, you know, to make things work. You know, for whatever answer solution you have. Right now we've got. I mean to go forward for three hours for this. So looking at my chart, so we've got to use all three. Um, I would have said what we do here is we need two. Hmm. So I'm just doing a bit of maths here. Right, we don't put the amber ball into. Uh... No, we don't put the amber ball into the future one because it goes too far. Uh, which one do we want to put? Because I said, oh, folks, these cha this ch changes, this changes randomly. Um, so if we put, say, the amber, hmm, that's minus one, that's plus one even. I think the crystal is gonna have to. No, I think obsidian. Uh, maths! Damn it! I thought I left this go. Uh, say if we put obs I think obsidian's gonna go in future. I f obsidian. It must be a sid obsidian that goes in here. It must be. So we need minus one without obsidian, which we can't do. It's all threes and ones. Okay, so we don't do that. Can't be a, it can't be amber because it goes too far, so it's got to be crystal in here then. Um, so we put that in here. So we need plus one now. So we take that out. We need plus one from amber and obsidian. Obsidian is the only one that gives a minus, so amber must go into the uh, present and obsidian must go into past there we go folks we got there in the end like I say you just gotta sit down and just do a quick bit of maths you know and I've got the chart there use it by all means you know it's, it's what it's there for and inside we get this the gold gear. Golden gear. Oh yeah. I love it. Uh, beautiful gear made of gold. Believe it or not. We'll grab the um we'll grab the uh mine rounds now, though again there's not really a huge bad point. Um so what we'll do now is we're going to get attacked by spiders. Who can poison you, of course, like people, like normal, although they tend to just run into you and do a surprising amount of damage. And what we're going to do now is because, well, we need to uh, head up to the, um, head back up to the bell tower, actually. You don't need to worry about Nemesis, he's, um, 
he's gone for now. You know, he he's buggered off somewhere. He's probably chasing Carlos down or something. Um, but we need to now go back up to the bell tower because you know, we've got our gold gear, so we need to go and put that in. Um, well, put that into the uh, little coggy machine thing and get that running so we can call for an evac chopper. Sounds like a plan to me. We'll head up here. Um, we let's go. We'll put it in. Except that one doesn't fit either. Yeah, some of you probably guessed what you need to do here. If I just um fill that down there, and what we need to do is we need to um combine this with that, and it gives us the Chronos gear. And also, while I'm thinking about it. Um, I'm also going to... Uh, what am I doing here? M47 parts, that's the one. And we can combine this, and this gives us this. The Western Custom M37. Basically, it's a sawn-off shotgun. A cool sawn-off shotgun, in a way. It's a bit of a strange way to use it. Um, and try that, and a bit strange. Um, but anyways, folks, so what we're going to do is I'm going to put the Chronos gear into here, and yeah, see it works. And then I'm going to have to call that a video, because I am out of time. Um, so, folks, so I'm going to, uh, yeah, call it a video. So, thank you all very, very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.